Okay, good evening everyone. This is Joe Henches with Beyond the Chart, and this is the Wednesday night Chinese takeout. Tonight's post is the China Connection. So as I mentioned in the post, we're going to talk about the gaming stocks and uh, Macau and the, the whole ball of wax, everything that's going on with gambling. Uh, and you can read more about it in my post. I talk more about Macau. Um, and it's kind of fascinating. So um, and it, that's going to be the picture that you see on the um, on the thumbnail on the video and then on the website also. So let's start off with the uh, Shanghai Composite. Uh, it's down today, as was our, our markets were down today. I guess the Dow was down uh, 100 and, gosh, what was it, 130? I think it was about 130 points. So last week, we talked about how, if we go back five days, five trading days is right about here, I think, the fourth. Yeah, that was last Wednesday. So this is what we were looking at. We were thinking, okay, we're getting a breakout. We're breaking this trend line. But remember what I said is that, we really needed to break this pivot point here to show that we're moving to new highs. Okay, so it hasn't done that. It just pulled right back. Now, it could, this could just be a pullback to the trend line. Uh, we'll just have to wait and see. But uh, right now, we're not getting confirmation that we're moving to new highs. So uh, that's what's going on with the Shanghai um, stock market over there in China, which is really one of the primary. I think there's another one. I think it's called Shenzhou. I'm not sure. I, I am sure that I'm probably not pronouncing it correctly. Uh, but I know those two. And then, of course, you get the Hong Kong uh, Stock Exchange. OK, let's move on. I'm going to talk about these four uh, stocks. I'm going to start off. Now, these four stocks are U.S. traded stocks. And three of the four are U.S. based companies, all doing business in Macau. So the gambling stocks are really driving a lot of their revenue or the Macau uh, revenue is driving a lot of the profits for these stocks. So let's talk about MGM Resorts. Okay, um, I think we're in a fifth wave here moving up. We've got a little bit of a reversal bar today. Uh, so we got you're going to need to watch that as to whether or not this is the top. Uh, and I, you know, when I say that we've got fifth, five waves, this is what I'm kind of looking at. And I'm talking about from from down here. I'm just looking at the last move up from a low point. Um, it, this looked like a leading diagonal wave. Looks like we then pulled back in a like a zigzag type uh, formation, uh, then got a third wave move and then got a ABC type of, uh, of correction. And the fourth wave did not go above wave one, I don't believe. Uh, it went right to it or pretty close to it. And then I think we're in one, two, three, four, and in the fifth wave. So that's why I'm cautious here, okay? And given what's happening in the stock market, um, this could just be a slight. We push a little bit more, but I'm not sure we got a whole lot more going on here. So we just have to uh, have to keep our eye on that one. Let's look at uh, Melco Crown Entertainment. This was a joint venture between two companies, and they created this company. This company is traded in uh, the United States, but it's actually headquartered in Hong Kong. And again, this looks like it's in the fifth wave also, but it, this one is a, a fifth wave up from down here in, June, in um, 2009 when the market bottomed after the whole crash in 2008. Uh, so this is like the March, February, I guess, uh, bottom in here. And I'm, you know, I'm counting, um, I'm counting five waves up. I'm counting one, two, three, four, and that we're in this fifth wave where we're working five waves. So, you know, this this whole rally, especially from October of two years ago, is getting extended. Okay, so let me look here at, you know, we're getting divergence. We're getting divergence on, on RSI. We're getting divergence on DI+. Plus. So again, you know, the divergence warning signs are out. Um, and we got a little bit of a reversal bar here today on this one, too. So, you know, it, it opened, went up, and then closed down near the bottom part of the bar. So it's, um, I think, something to be, you know, I don't have a sell signal. You know, it's not closing down below the 10. The 10's not rolling over. But... It's uh, something to be cautious with, again, also on that one. Let me go back to MGM real quick because we didn't look at the, at the divergence. 
not really seeing anything yet. We're, you know, it's kind of, it's, let's put it this way. It's not super clear. We, we haven't gone to higher highs on, on that. Uh, so it's not quite as clear as it is on, on Melco. Uh, let's take a look at Las Vegas Sands, LVS. Uh, LVS looks like it's in this channel moving up. And again, I really thought, I thought this might have been the fifth wave. Uh, but clearly this is pushing up in a, you know, you know, a nice up, uh, upward strong push here. Um, we could do a sideways. You know, again, we got a reversal bar here again today, like all of them seem to have done. Um, let me look at the, the broader count. Again, this is one where um, we had one, two, three, four, and then now in this fifth wave. You know, that's my best count as the way we're looking. And then, you know, are we getting divergence in here? I think we are on this. Yeah, we are on the RSI and on DI+. Plus. We definitely are. And, of course, when we got the divergence here, what did it do? Pull back and kind of went sideways. Okay, so now I pushed up again but did not push to new highs on the indicators. So that's a sign that we're getting to uh, a top in here, I believe. Okay, and the last one we'll take a look at is Wynn Resorts. Now, the interesting thing about Wynn here is you see these horizontal lines that I've got in here, um, right here and here. Let me go to the weekly, and then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll scan back. This is where we had previous highs back in 2007, 2011, okay? And, and so those highs, let me go back to the daily, that's where those are here, and it smashed through those on the 6th, which was last Friday. And it did it with pretty good volume. That volume bar here, as you can see, let me blow it up a little bit. The dotted line is the 50-day average, exponential average of the volume, okay? So when it's above the dotted line, it's stronger than the average volume of the last 50 days. That's where I've got this. So this was a really nice, strong, we're getting a lot of good volume coming into win also so that's all coming into this push up here and notice how there's not a real strong reversal ball kind of a little bit of one here but um, more of a almost a doji uh, in effect uh, but this was a nice strong push up here again I think we're potentially in a fifth wave but we could be correcting sideways and then have a little bit more to the upside we'll just have to watch and see so that's it on Win. We took a look at Win, MGM, Las Vegas Sands, uh, Shanghai. That's really all I wanted to look at this evening. Let's go back to the Shanghai. Um, and tomorrow we'll have a, another market update and we'll talk about a couple other stocks and we'll go from there. Have a great Thursday. Thanks for uh, stopping by and um, don't hesitate. Stop by the website. Take a look at the post. Talk to you later. Thanks for... Thanks for coming in.